Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good Tuesday morning to you all. This is Storm Track 7 meteorologist Robbie coming our very warm morning across eastern Iowa. Check out those 80s. You see some record warm, record warm morning low temperatures. You also notice some activity in the form of line of storms there across southeastern portions of the viewing area. Continue to see that over the next hour or two here, the time this is recorded, of course. Uh, we've got another chance of storms this afternoon. Before that, we've got to deal with some more heat. Upper 90s, possible heat in the seas for today. Stay cool, stay hydrated out there. But once that front rolls through, Later on today, it's the afternoon, the overnight time frame, we'll see much cooler conditions for tomorrow into Thursday. A little peak in humidity and temperatures as well on Friday before we return to the 80s on Saturday. Nice end to the month of June, to say the least. But again, outside of the humidity, we've got a yellow alert day in play this afternoon and this evening. So the chance for strong to severe storms. Main threat is along and south of Highway 30. I'll show you that risk map in just a moment here. But here we are with future track. Again, after the current activity presses off to the south, uh, we'll see mostly sunny sky throughout the rest of the afternoon. But, uh, of course, with the storms today or go ongoing at this time frame early this morning, uh, we could see some outflow boundaries present across the area. And when those interact, uh, it's when you kind of see some uncertainties, little uncertainties in the forecast about where storms form. that could help intensify storms as well. It's exactly what we could see later on this evening. Uh, maybe another complex of storms like we saw to our north and east overnight tonight should clear out. Uh, by about midnight or so, we're rolling on through the area, leading the way for a pretty nice day for tomorrow with lots of sunshine. Uh, here's that severe risk, though, that we're talking about. Again, along and south of Highway 30, level 2 out of 5, that slight risk there, that yellow coloring. North of there, level 1 out of 5, up to about Highway 20 or so. Main threat, again, damaging winds. Could see some hail, though. Maybe an isolated tornado or two is a possibility. But the time frame, again, about 4 o'clock this afternoon to about 10, 12 o'clock later on this evening. So definitely be weather aware, have multiple ways to get your alerts. Otherwise, highs today, upper 80s, lower 90s like we talked about, winds blowing out of the north and west, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. After those storms clear out, say around midnight or so, we'll start to see some gradual clearing. Low is mostly in the 60s with the continued northwest wind. As for tomorrow, even into Thursday, very nice conditions, especially as we enter the end of June here. Mix of sun and clouds for the most part. Friday, Humidity takes a jump a little bit like we saw at the beginning of this. Windy conditions return as well. Chance of showers and storms, but check out that weekend. Last couple of days of June, upper 70s to lower 80s for highs. It's like that in heartbeat. Because of course, July starts on Monday. Those temperatures go back up to the upper 80s.